Today in our Eye on Health segment, we are answering your questions about the coronavirus. Yesterday, more cases were confirmed in several states. CBS News reports the total number of cases in the U.S. is 160, with 11 deaths blamed on the coronavirus. We do want to point out that as of this morning, there were no confirmed cases in Pennsylvania, West Virginia, or Ohio. Well, we asked you to tell us what you want to know by posting your questions mm -hmm. to the Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page, and we hope getting some answers will help calm fears about this a little bit. So we have an expert with us today to answer as many questions as we can. We want to welcome Dr. Imran Qadir, Chief Medical Officer at Allegheny General. Good to have you here. And so our first question is from a viewer named Joan, and she's asking, how is this virus different than the flu? Why is it more dangerous? Well, it's, uh, the, the novel coronavirus is different than our regularly occurring coronavirus, which is similar to common cold. Um, so it's, it's, it's new virus, and we, you know, currently there's no treatment for it. I'm glad that you brought that up because uh, actually I, I saw on the back of Clorox wipes that, you know, they kill against, uh, kill coronavirus. And I thought, so this has been around for a while. There are different strains there's, of this? There's different strains of it. This novel coronavirus is usually a zoontic or coming from animal sources, usually animal to animal transmission. Sometimes a animal to human transmission does occur, and that's what we're seeing. All right, Linda's asking, how safe are we? Do we need to go out and, and wear masks? And this has certainly been in the news. Do mm -hmm. we need to be getting masks? Uh, CDC does not recommend healthy individuals to wear masks. Now, if you have a fever or a cough or a short of breath, a flu-like illness, mm -hmm. then you can wear a mask to prevent transmission to others. Okay, so Don Marie asking about how the virus is spread. And I know this is a big concern for a lot of people, is how can you actually contract it? So just like flu, uh, the con you know, people contracted by it in close contact. Okay. So if you're within six feet of, uh, of a person who has an infection, you can contract it. Uh, and it's contracted through a droplet. So if you sneeze or cough and if you're in that six feet parameter, you, are, you, know, you can get it. Uh, through contacts, through dirty surfaces. Uh, if, you, if somebody had coughed or sneezed on a surface and you happen to touch it, then you can contract it. Wow, okay, that's important to know. What are the symptoms, and how quickly would someone, if they were exposed to it, begin getting those symptoms? The, the symptoms can occur for anywhere from 2 to 14 days, and the most common symptoms are fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, uh, myalgias, like muscle aches, and mm -hmm. fatigue. To me, that sounds a lot like the flu. Yes. And so does that create any complications? I mean, I assume that if you have some of those symptoms, you should be calling your doctor's office anyways, but it does sound very much like the flu. Yeah. If you have symptoms, you should call your physician, and they are very similar to flu. And in fact, if you have the symptoms, I know one of the points that you wanted to make was you shouldn't just show up at the doctor's right. office because then you might contaminate more people. You should always call first, right? Yes. So we're advising you know everyone that if you have flu-like illness to contact your providers first don't go don't walk into their office don't come to the ED or urgent care um, they can they ha they they can appropriately screen and, and and guide you for over the phone okay. so we kind of have a combination question here a lot about our hands and you mentioned touching dirty surfaces and that sort of thing um, so Anne is asking about hand washing Marilyn wants to know about using hand sanitizer and we've seen um, on store shelves hand sanitizer is gone in a lot of places Robin asking about wearing gloves so in all of those circumstances, does that work? Hand sanitizer, washing hands, or, or not? Yeah, CDC actually recommends for prevention of any you know, flu-like illness or coronavirus, washing hands is the best way to prevent infection transmission. Um, and you know, not touching your hands, your nose, your face, your mouth. Um, also, hand sanitizers work great. Uh, you just have to make sure they have 60% alcohol content. Okay. Oh, 60% alcohol 60 content. 60% okay. alcohol. Uh, and before we take a quick break, because we have more questions for you, we want to ask just, just about in general. I mean, we wanted to have you on to try to calm people's fears. I mean, the more you know about something, then you're more able to deal with it. What should people be thinking right now? I mean, how concerned should they be? Well, I think people should remain calm. 
um, flu is still out, way out numbers right. coronavirus. I mean, we've had over 32 million cases of flu and over 16,000 deaths with flu. Compare that to coronavirus, 11 deaths so far. So, I mean, we should be concerned because it can cause death. But if you're taking appropriate precaution, um, you, you know, it is a milder disease than, uh, you know, than others. Sometimes that unknown is what rises the panic exactly. and fear in a lot of us. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, so we have a lot more questions. We're going to get to those. We're going to take a quick break right now, uh, and we will have some of those questions answered. Like, should you be traveling mm -hmm. right now, and what should you do if you're already dealing with some health issues? We'll be right back with today's special Eye on Health segment. Stay with us.